Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm DeMarco Morgan reporting tonight from Los Angeles. We start with breaking news. The Federal Reserve has responded to the coronavirus crisis by immediately cutting interest rates to zero. President Trump addressed the nation this evening. They've lowered the Fed rate from what it was, which was 1 to 1.25, and it's been lowered down to 0 to 0 0.25. 4.25, so it's 0 to 0.25. That's a big difference. Right now, confirmed cases top 3,100 across the country. More than 60 people have died. Nicole Killian is at the White House with the latest. President Trump is defending his administration's response. He says the U.S. was never set up for this type of outbreak, but will be soon. Because if it looks like you're overreacting, you're probably doing the right thing. The nation's top infectious disease expert made the rounds, warning it could be weeks, if not months, before things return to normal and cautioning Americans to hunker down. Every single day we meet with the task force and we take a look at what's going on. And you don't want to make a pronouncement that no one should ever go into a restaurant. I mean, I think that might be overkill right now, but everything is on the table. Fauci stopped short of calling for a national lockdown as several governors warned of prolonged closures. And it would not surprise me at all if schools did not open again this year. And pressed the administration to step up its response. We have never fought a virus like this with this potential consequence. So uh, plan forward, plan forward. As Wall Street braces for another volatile week, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin said the administration is working with Congress on its coronavirus aid package and will discuss potential help for hard-hit industries like the airlines. Providing liquidity to good businesses that just need liquidity for three to six months, that's not a bailout. Mnuchin and the president's top trade advisor say they believe the U.S. economy can rebound. Where do you put the chances of a recession at right now? I don't want to talk about, uh, about uh, that. <laughs> what I can tell you is that we're fighting significant headwinds. This afternoon, the president convened a call with grocery executives. The White House says the supply chain is strong, so Americans don't need to hoard daily essentials. DeMarco? Nicole Killian at the White House. Nicole, thank you.